I, uh, I talked about um, primarily about four projects that uh, GSA did uh, with funding under the American uh, Recovery and Reinvestment Act, or ARA, the stimulus, uh, the stimulus bill. Uh, we had uh, five and a half uh, billion dollars to invest in making our buildings uh, more uh, energy efficient and sustainable, and uh, we put most of that money into renovation and upgrading of our existing buildings, and so I talked about uh, four of my favorites. My favorite one is a building in Portland, Oregon. It's called Edith Green Wendell Wyatt, named for two uh, longtime members of the House of Representatives from Portland. Um, and it's an ugly duckling 19, mid-1970s building, recast concrete facade, dark interior, not very energy efficient, 17th floor, consumed by big heavy mechanical equipment which powered the, the air system that heated and cooled the building. Uh, and um, through a series of uh, fundamental uh, improvements, they changed the building uh, both aesthetically, they took off the precast concrete, replaced that with a glass curtain wall, and then adapted each facade of the building to meet the, the, the needs in terms of the amount of solar heat gain. They made it a beautiful building on the outside and far more energy efficient and uh, usable on the inside, getting rid of those precast concrete uh, blocks on the facade created um, an additional foot of space all the way around on every foot of every every floor. Um, they went to radiant heating and cooling that mm -hmm. allowed them to get rid of the duct work in the ceilings, raise the ceilings by a foot, get rid of all the ugly mechanical equipment on the 17th floor. So that floor, the penthouse level, which was filled with equipment, is now 10,000 square feet of rentable space with a view of Mount Hood. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, the, you know, the workers were just moving in when I was there. I was out there for the ribbon cutting in June, but I think the agencies that were moving back in the building, the Forest Service, the uh, Internal Revenue Service, Bureau of Land Management were very excited. They were involved in designing their particular space, and of course we work with agencies to, um, to use the space in a way that takes advantage of all the, the natural light, so collaborative workspace, uh, getting away from uh, or not reintroducing the system where you have the senior people with walled offices along the windows taking up all the natural light with the junior people in, in dark cubicles in the middle, but instead having open collaborative workspace uh, that allows the natural light um, to space uh, and that uh, allows you to fit a lot more workers into uh, a given space uh, which is good for, uh, for your real estate bill for if you're a federal agency but it's also good for workers they like they like that more collaborative Ma many of them most of them like more collaborative well we will yes I mean the nature of these projects is that you put uh, you know you undertake a major capital investment in the case of Edith Green Wonder Wyatt was a $140 million investment, but it's an 18-story uh, building with hundreds of thousands of square feet of space, um, and it is now, um, we've reduced the energy consumption by half, uh, something wow. like that, so it will um, it will pay off over, over time. The, the return on investment varies from project to project, but these are buildings that federal workers and we want to continue to use these buildings and to use them as productively uh, as we can and to operate them as efficiently as we can. The people, um, absolutely. I mean, I love I love buildings, but mm -hmm. it's the uh, what made that project and all of our other projects so successful was an extraordinary uh, group of, of people, uh, project managers and the architects, the engineers, um, and these are people who, with a real passion for not just buildings, but for making buildings more uh, sustainable and energy efficient. And, um, and I, 
identify not just the technologies that do that, but the ways of working together, the ways of carrying out big construction projects like this uh, that get people uh, together early on.